now we'll discuss something about the concrete and then we'll go for what is reinforced cement concrete we'll deal some properties some points which are dealt one after another that is mix of concrete next property of concrete next permissible stresses in concrete if you go through the table number 21 of is code 456 2000 then we'll go for permissible stresses in steel uh page number 82 and of course table will be the next to the that one then we'll go for modular ratio that is small m which is already given page 80 what is modular ratio then modulus of elasticity effective depth overall depth and then we'll go for all other factors like what is effective span effective depth etc after this we'll deal something about the behavior now suppose this is the beam which is loaded then how this will deflect you can see this is the deflected pattern now we'll discuss something about where the tension and the compression takes place and about the neutral axis etc then we'll go for the particular terminology which is used for concrete that is sigma cbc sigma st modulus of elasticity of concrete that is ec es so and so forth but when we are talking of a equivalent concrete or steel equivalent to concrete being a homogeneous then how that equivalence is to be carried out is shown over here like this well, of course we will discuss this in detail and then we'll go something about the equivalent mix and then the moment of area for calculating the neutral axis just to calculate the neutral axis when the area of the cross section of a beam and the reinforcement is given we can find out the neutral axis another aspect of calculating the neutral axis is given as when the stresses are given how to calculate these are the two aspects of calculating the neutral axis one because of the when the dimensions and the area of steel is given and another when the stresses are given from the what is the uh, value of k what is, we can call as the neutral axis constant will be dealt in detail when we are discussing over here